friends this is ramna today i will show demo on how to delete create and load sql table data into excel sheet in a space you may got doubt uh, why we need to delete and create again uh, for loading the data so sometimes in real time scenarios you may get to import the data from the table to the excel sheet on uh, on regular intervals that is the daily or weekly as per the business requirement so at that time that uh, the table data can be updated uh, regularly so first we delete the ta um, table excel sheet but first we delete the excel sheet and later i create the excel sheet again and uh, and load the data so that we, the package might not get fail and the data also updated uh, as per the table so i will show how to do it so in this demo i will take three tasks actually file task file system task this is deal with uh, deleting excel sheet and second one is the execute sql task creating excel sheet and finally data flow task loading the data into excel sheet so this is how my package workflow looks like so first i will show my table this is person details table i have in sample database it contains 1000 records so i want to load all these records into excel sheet for that i am creating new package first i'm dragging the data flow task double click to configure then go to since my table is in sql table i am taking oila db source before that i will let you know the schema of my table see here person details table id in first name last name and gender everything is where cut so you know that uh, excel sheet doesn't support any where care it will supports a n where care type but uh, our table is is in where care type so what we can do in this case first we configure the oladb source sample database and taking sample database later i am selecting the table that is for some details columns you have four columns and go to the so it is configured successfully so if we drag the excel destination it will throw error why because the compatibility of the data type so i have already created one excel sheet for person data i am browsing for that sheet data right now we don't have any data in the excel sheet see here 7kb 7kb in the sense there is no data in the sheet make sure once again see here so now what i am doing here is i am just creating the new and table schema in excel sheet to get the term all table names into the sheet so for that you just click the the new button and it will schema and uh, query is automatically developed within the sheet you just to change the name here for some data and um, here everything is and keep it keep it as it is and after that you just click the drop down button and select the person data by default it is showing sheet number sheet 1 dollar symbol but i created one table on the sheet so that i am selecting this this one and go to mappings 
sorry here just click here even though we configure this is showing error what is the error column first name cannot convert with between unicode and non unicode stream data further reason we need to use transformation called data conversion transformation data conversion i am dragging the data conversion connecting it with the world db source double click so there are four columns already uh, i am selecting this um, dtstr to wstr that is n vector type and this one also i am selecting wstr and this one also i am selecting wstr and click ok now we just continue the excel sheet double click go to mapping so here in the mapping go to copy id and go to copy of first name go copy copy of last name and go to gender so where we can all these new columns copy of all these columns in we creating derived from data conversion transformation so the these columns are they appeared in the excel sheet in the mapping so configuration has done successfully now if you run the uh, package so package done successfully you can check your personal data so earlier it is 7 kb now it is 38 kb double click This is sheet one, but we named the table name as person data. That's why the person data has been created. See, all all column names and data will appear in this sheet. See, thousand records. So, if you run again the same same page, yeah, it, it ran. But if you see the data. Earlier it is 38, and now it is 71. It shows. That means the data will be redundant, duplicate data. So it will append again 1,000 rows. We don't want the we don't want the same data, repeated data again in the sheet. So to append it. Earlier it is 1,000. Now it is 1, 2,000 rows. So in this case, what we will do? We just delete the data, delete the existing data, and creating a new table. For that, I am dragging first to execute SQL task. So connecting it with the data flow task. Double click to configure. So here you may select the connection type as Excel, and the connection I already have. Connection manager. I am selecting that one. And the, in the SQL type uh, statement, just to, we need to write person data. Person data. And here ID int comma. So what are the columns are there? First name. Syntax also should be same. Naming convention. id first name first name and merger merger only comma last name Just writing the date statement for person data uh, with the respective columns in the as per in the sheet. Table person data ID in. Now we created them. On top of it, we need to drag one more task that is file system. File system task. So it 
has many operations here our intention is to delete the file so delete the file and keeping the is source path variable false and i am setting the new connection so which file we need to delete we want to delete existing file browse that file and go to select that file and click ok so person that this is the file we, we want to delete so by using delete file system path we can delete first afterwards we can create the table in excel sheet and load the data and if you run this query so it is saying the process is being the sheet because of it is being used by other, other person I haven't closed this sheet. Make sure before run your package, you have to close your sheet. And running again. Yeah. Run successfully. Package and go and check your sheet. See here. Earlier we have 2000 rows. Now it is 41 kp, that is only 1000 rows. It is showing. See, I did last name and gender on the columns. If you go and check the table, it is just showing 1000 rows. So, this is how you have to find the package in this format. So, first you create, um, first you create file system task for deleting the access sheet and execute the stuff for creating the access uh, sheet table in the uh, SQL statement so afterwards you, you can load this data into this now you have got one idea why we created the access sheet uh, execute SQL task and file system task instead of data flow task so if, if you want to execute the same package repeatedly it will append it will not delete, uh, delete the whole record that's why duplicate records will come into the picture because of that reason we added two more tasks into, into the workflow first one for creating the access sheet and second one for the first one is for deleting the access sheet and second one for creating the access sheet table so this is how you need to design your package in real time scenario if you want to load the data table data into the access sheet regularly this uh, this package and this video is helpful to you how to do this thanks for watching the video thank you very much